Hello there and welcome back. It is so sunny today. It's January. The, s the forecast is for snow. I have no idea why it's so bright and sunny, but I'm not complaining. Are you complaining? No? Are you happy girl? Flowers everywhere. What? Today I'm here to bring you part five of the white coffin shaped handbag series. Yeah, part five. I never, I never expected this to go as far as it did. You know, all those years ago when I made my first ever what's in my bag video, never in a million years would I have expected this to become a series, but it has. And here we are. So roughly around sometime last year, I don't remember when, if I can find the exact date, I'll put it on screen. Um, the brand Dangerous Nude announced their Lucky Packs. And I love this brand. I've, I've worn a lot of their stuff before. I've done outfit pictures with their stuff. I have the Medusa print skirt and scarf. I've actually been to their shop as well. I went there when I was last in Harajuku and that was really fun. I love their stuff, I just do. They're a bit crazy sometimes, they do a lot of weird things but I, it really appeals to me. And they announced this lucky pack which came in black or white and I wanted the bag. I wanted the bag a lot, the white one obviously. And then sort of by pure chance a friend of mine wanted it but she only wanted the tights that came with it so we decided we were going to split it you know that made the perfect sense because I didn't want to buy the whole thing she didn't want to buy the whole thing but we could buy it between us and split it obviously the price was divided fairly considering I was getting the big part and she was only getting the tights it wasn't like a 50 50 split that would have been that would have been really unfair lucky packs aren't released until January I think, or the end of December. So we had a little while to wait and my friend did all the ordering, she used the shopping service, she did all the she did all the hard work basically. So I don't really have a lot to say on that. I can't tell you the dates or how easy they were to work with. Long story short, yesterday, um yesterday being the fourteenth of January. Yes. Yesterday was the 14th of January. A great big parcel arrived for me containing my new bag. Look at this bad boy. Look at it. It's amazing. I love it so much. A constant theme in all my other videos about white coffin shaped handbags is that they're quite small. This though this will definitely hold a sketchbook or two, or three. And it has it has a shoulder strap, which I wasn't expecting. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to have that. I thought it would just be like this, and I could carry it like that if I had to. But no, it has a shoulder strap, so I can put it on my back if I need to. It's be easier to carry. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. So let's talk about this bag. Off the bat, I can tell you that it feels really nice. It's sturdy, but not like gross. You know what I mean? What am I saying? What am I trying to say? Yeah, well, okay. It's sturdy enough that I feel like I genuinely could carry around a lot of sketchbooks in it. And I don't know how many of you out there also carry around books but books are heavy and they very quickly sort of pull on your bags and wear them out but this feels like it would stand up to that quite well the zip is also really strong which is nice because a lot of um, Japanese brand clothing in my experience have really weak zips like the zip is nearly always the first thing to break but this is really strong and it opens all the way around, almost. Look at that. 
it opens like a full case, which is kind of awesome. Like this bag is basically directly in between my little handbags and my suitcase, which is here. The coffin shaped suitcase that appears in all of my outfit pictures. I just feel like this is going to be really handy for when I'm traveling around or doing whatever it is I need to be doing with my life. So this shoulder strap is not the same leather material as the rest of the bag. It's like a canvas strap and it actually does clip on on the sides so I can remove it if I want to. I could add little keychains and stuff there if I wanted to. And I'm really glad about this because shoulder straps obviously rub when you wear them and if they're made of fake leather or plastic they tend to wear away and get really really scrabby. Scrabby? That's not a word. Scruffy. They get really scruffy really fast which is a shame but this is a canvas strap so it won't do that. There's no pockets is the only slight downside to this bag. You know my my little one has a pocket in the back which is exactly phone sized which is nice. This has no pockets. Not on the outside, not on the inside. No pockets. But that doesn't really bother me a lot. I tend not to use the pockets on the inside of bags for what they're supposed to be for anyway. You know, if I have pens or medication or any small items that you need to find quickly, I don't put them in a pocket. I just launch them into the bag and dig through it for them later. I do it the hard way. Does it, do you guys do that? Do any of you actually have an organised bag? Because never in my life have I had a well organised bag. I love this so much. It's going to go with almost everything I wear. It cannot be worn as a backpack. That's something I discussed in my other videos as well about how sometimes I like to have the option to change the straps around to wear a bag on my back. Like if I'm going to be out for a while or doing something. This one doesn't have that option which makes sense because it's so big but it would have been kind of cool if I could have that on my back. I mean I still can, can I? Kind of. The design on the front is actually velvet and embroidery. This backing part here is a white velvet and then the gold thread, gold and silver actually, the gold and silver embroidery is on top of that velvet panel which is on top of the white pleather. I'm just going to show you that real up close because it is so pretty. I really do love this. Maybe one of my New Year's resolutions should be to start scripting my videos so that I don't end up sitting here for ages wondering what to say next. If there's any important details you think I missed, um, leave me a comment. Yeah, leave me a comment about it and I'll try and get back to you. Other than that, I hope this year has been good to you so far. It's only January, but, you know, I hope January's been good to you so far. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and do whatever else is you need to do. Press the bell. Do I still need to say that? I don't, I don't even know if that's still a thing. I'm not very up to date on my YouTube algorithms. But I trust that you know what to do. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.